Parkside cordless handheld vacuum cleaner that I got in Lidl, let's see what we get in the box. The box was one of them easy to open, but I had to use sharp tool to get off the plastic seals. Inside of the box I found one battery charger that came with the set, a couple of manuals and main body of the device. Let's have a look at the instruction manuals provided by the supplier. One of them covers charger and battery that comes in the set as well, so you would be able to read all the warnings about the batteries and stuff like that. The other manual gives operation instructions of the cordless vacuum itself and a couple of pictures of the elements of the set. As the operation of the device is not complicated, we will not focus on this very matter. And this is how the main body of the device looks like. Front nozzle is dust container as well, equipped in paper filter, but from my experience, well, depending on the dust type that you're dealing with, it is good practice to get some extra filters as they get used quite rapidly if you work with small dust particles. Luckily, they are cheap and you can get them on Amazon or AliExpress. Little supplied only one. I would like to have at least three in such set. Lithium battery that we got in the set clicks in easily into the handle, and when in place the device is quite well balanced. All parts of the set seem to be made properly, they fit in without any problems, slide in, click in. Handle of the device is made from hard but durable rubber, gives good grip and should last long. This is how the battery contacts and connectors look like. Let's have a closer look at the turbine in front of the device. I did my best to show you how the turbine spins when vacuum is powered. It has proper plastic guard, so fingers should be safe. This is the information that we are getting on the information label on the device. Unfortunately, there is no information about wattage of the device and that would be quite informative. I did check suction of the device with my Mystic Mist later in the video. There was one battery in the set, it is made from good quality plastic seems to be made with precision and seems to be solid and durable. Black bottom part was made from hard rubber, it is a lithium-ion battery that operates at around 20 volts and promises around 40 watt hours. In human language it gives around 20 minutes of vacuum operation. That is why I bought an extra battery for additional 17 euros and around 20 dollars. Battery charger, according to the information on the box, promises to fully recharge empty battery in about 60 minutes, but from my experience it does take less. Lidl decided to use one type of batteries for all of their electro tools. I hope they will not change the shape and size of the battery, especially connection socket, so I would be able to get replacement in 5 or maybe 10 years. Charger is made from good quality materials as well and provides 21.5 volts and 2.4 amps that equals to 65 watts of charging power. There are only two diodes indicating charging and charging complete. In the box you will find the number of attachment nozzles for different purposes. Small brush works great on car seats. As I just said, I tested suction of the device with my Mystic Mist and here are the effects. This vacuum cleaner does produce good amount of suction and to be honest it exceeded my expectation. I did test the device by cleaning my home and I have to admit that it is quite a handy device. It is designed for workshops application, so stuff like iron shavings and wooden chips, but we are going to use it as a handy portable vacuum cleaner at home. It will not substitute our main vacuum cleaner, but it supplements big vacuum cleaner and we will use it for small jobs, mostly on flat surfaces as it is not the best solution for carpets but works great as the duster. I cleaned my room, stairs, kitchen and one bathroom, I mean I de-dusted it. And it did clean my girlfriend's car a bit on one charge. As I said before, it works perfectly well on flat surfaces. It does have problems with carpets, but you can still clean your car seats and carpets when you use small brush nozzle. Depending on the dust and dirt type that you're dealing with, nozzle that is dust container in the same time seems to be sufficient for more than one charge of the battery. Emptying the container is easy, but paper filter has to be shaken, so the dirt is gone and ready for the next cleanup action. Again, just to remind you, if you can, get some 
extra filters as they get used quite fast. I would suggest to change them once per quarter if you use the device extensively and less often if you use the device less actively. Oh, I would have forgotten, but there's a very nice feature that I love. You can hang the device on a simple screw so you could hang it on the wall of your workshop. Unfortunately, it will not hang on our wall, as my GF said, it does not have the looks. Well, what can I do? If you want to get one of them, just visit your local Lidl or try to buy them online on Amazon, but it is much more expensive to buy it on Amazon. Simply Lidl probably wants to get best prices for their customers in the Lidl stores. But you can check out the affiliated links below uh, with similar devices if you don't have access to your local Lidl. And more or less that's it for today. Remember about watching some other of my videos where one is here, one is here, one is here and click my face to subscribe here. Bye bye! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.